All right, welcome to another edition of Meet the Bird Gang, Brandon Ross, and I am joined by a very special guest, a 2019 Firebird and Houston Astros draft pick, Zach Daniel. Zach, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Not doing too bad. I'm staying safe here. I hope you are too down there in Georgia. And Definitely. Let's, let's start with just the words. You are a professional baseball player. <laughs> how does that feel? Um, I mean, it feels amazing. Uh, just being as a little kid, um, like three, four, five years old, just dreaming of playing the MLB. So just getting that uh, ball rolling. Um, definitely have a long way to go, but uh, definitely just enjoying the moment right now and then just have to put in a lot more work to get to the end goal. Who would you celebrate draft day with? Um, I was with my teammates up in Tennessee. We had our uh, left-handed pitcher, Garrett Crochet, who went 11 overall. So we were up there for day one of the draft. So just um, – we was just – basically just as a team, we're like a big family up there. Um, so those guys were there. And uh, also my girlfriend was there too. So that was good too. The whole gang's together in Knoxville for that big day. Walk me through day two when you find out you're going to get picked by Houston. Did they contact you? Did they just hear your name called? What was the situation? This is, this is a crazy situation. I was actually supposed to go in the fifth round to the Red Sox. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, so that happened. And um, so that we were set with that one, so that was all set. And then the uh, Astros contacted my advisor, and um, – they sent me a number, they sent him a number and he accepted it and it was just like spot on. So he didn't even tell me at the time. It just, we saw it on TV and it was just like, wow. <laughs> well, hey, from one AL powerhouse to another and you're heading <laughs> to the Houston organization, you've already spent a couple of days with the organization. So I, I want to get your initial sense of what you like most about Houston. Um, just the culture that they have, uh, the culture that they want to get to work and they want to push guys as fast as they can, but at the same time, they still want to get uh, the most out of each player and everything like that. Um, and just the sense of urgency that they have with all this stuff and everything like that is definitely, they just want to get to work with everybody. And uh, coming from Tennessee, that's basically how it was there. So um, it's just, it's almost like it's a second, second home, I guess, becoming to be. Um, so I was just, I'm just ready to get the ball rolling with it. That'll be your future home. Let's go back to your past home of the last three years, the University of Tennessee, your college career. Spent your first two seasons there. Had a little bit of trouble with the bat. You head to the Cape League. Still not the best average. You hit sub 200. Was there any big takeaway you took from that Cape season? Because you certainly exploded 357 in your junior year. Um, just adding more rhythm and having a better approach in my swing as well. I mean, I changed it a little bit towards the end of the year and it started having a little more success, but, um, definitely just having a better approach, uh, rhythm in the swing and then just pitch recognition as well. Um, and then just getting out and playing every day as well. So that definitely helped a lot too. Well, that always helps anybody. And I got to ask you, what's your favorite Cape league memory? Um, I think it was when we were just in at Boston Fenway because, like, that's the MLB field that we got to play on. We got to take BP, uh, play at, and then just have fun with the guys and have fun with other teams that were there and stuff like that. So, I mean, just talking with everybody around and just doing stuff like that, just playing baseball on the MLB field just was amazing. Well, that was almost a taste of your future, but now you're heading towards Houston. <laughs> and uh, – so you had that season in the Cape, you had those great memories, and you got a season of tutelage under Coach Kelly Nicholson. Talk to me a little bit about what Coach K means to you. Skip's an amazing guy, just an amazing guy. I mean, he knew that I was struggling. He took me under his wing, and he just told me he had confidence in me. Uh, no matter that what the outcome was enough and stuff like that, he saw that um, that I was willing to put in the work and stuff like that. But um, he's just a great guy. And, if anybody has the opportunity to go play for him, I would just – I would play for him in a heartbeat again if I could. But at the end of the day, I definitely want to hopefully see that man again because he's a great guy and everybody should want to play for him. I praise for Skip comes from everyone and it stays true for you too. Uh, <laughs> and before we wrap things up, I, I want to get a sense of – what your approach is going for now it seems like there's an outline for some level of baseball season you don't know what the situation is but 
what are your immediate next steps? I'm um, just staying in shape as best I can, working out, hitting and stuff like that every day. Um, so just ready whenever that, uh, whenever that time comes, I would just say, just staying ready. All right, Zachary Daniels, fourth round pick of the Houston Astros. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.